Hey guys, welcome to Roar TV. I'm Reese. And I'm Caden. This week on Roar TV, we got Word Up, New Teacher, RTV Movies, and Weekly Announcements. So Reese, tell me a little about your summer. Well, you know, I was through the Grand Canyon all summer. We were ziplining. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Miss Keith, how was the start of the 2018 school year? It was a great first week. We only lost a couple of freshmen, so we call that a win. Next question. Talk about your assistant principal at Edmonton this year. As you may have noticed, Mr. Penn um, is no longer here. He took a CFO job at Westwood ISD, and so we hired Mr. Baron Jones to replace him. It's going to be a great year. We've got a good team. Next question. Can you discuss any changes in the dress code for this year? Uh, no changes. Next question. What can students and parents do to get signed up for free or reduced school lunches? Right, so there are a couple of changes that come with being on free and reduced lunch that would benefit um, those students. And so we want to make sure anyone, even if you think you might not qualify, go ahead and sign up for the, um, the paperwork that came in the first day packets. If you've lost it, we can get you another one. But if you qualify for free and reduced lunch, there are a couple of benefits that go along with that. One, um, when you go to take the ACT or SAT, we can do a waiver. And so um, it's a reduced cost uh, for those tests. Also, we are now, those students that qualify for free and reduced lunch, we're also um, offering scholarships to those students for dual credit. So you will eat, um, you'll get either reimbursed or that those classes will be paid for in total. Next question. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Could you talk about the uh, prom ticket purchases? Absolutely. So prom tickets, we all know they're not cheap, and we were trying to find ways to reduce the cost. And so we're going to start a payment plan option for you. And um, we're probably going to kick that off right after Labor Day. And so you'll be able to come in and you can pay $5 a week, $10 a week, or you can pay monthly, whatever works for your family budget. So hopefully you can get those paid for little by little and ahead of time. Next question. Well, the Cory Shuffle will be permitted at prom. It will not only be permitted, but it will also be encouraged. Yes. Next question. Uh, explain how students can participate in, your, in paying your parking lot. Okay. Pay your parking space. They're for our seniors. Um, when you go to sign up for a parking spot, um, there's $30 more than a regular parking pass. And that's because we paint the spaces of, um, like a gray before you get started, so it helps cover the expense of that. Um, that'll be on September 29th. We'll come up, we'll have food and drinks and music, and you and your family can come and paint your space. You'll need to get checked in by noon um, and make sure your uh, drawing has been pre-approved by any administrator. Next question. What and when is a Sadie Hawkins dance? Sadie Hawkins dance um, is new this year. The proceeds to that dance will go towards the junior class, which, w which is the group that finances and plans prom. So hopefully help reduce that cost as well. Uh, but that'll be January 26th, and um, it's uh, Girls Ask the Guys dance. So guys will have a reprieve on this one. Next question. Um, there's a disturbing picture of Coach Lott circulating on social media. Do you have a comment on that picture? I've seen it, and I, I really just don't see any change. I mean, he looks like that all the time. So, no, I'm not disturbed by that picture. Any other questions? Yeah, so after the snakes bit me, everything was all good again. Bro, did you not just see the breaking news? What? Miss Keith <sighs> was talking the whole time. Dang it. All right, uh, I guess we'll just get into Word Up, where we go and ask students about their back school. Miss Keith. Word Up. It's the cold word. No matter where you say it, you'll know that you'll be. Hi, I'm Ashley Perez with Word TV, and I'm here with Demi Davis. How was your first week of school? It was good. What is your favorite class period? Uh, first period cheer. Where is your next game and when? Sunnyville um, tomorrow. I'm Connor Smith with Roy TV, and we're here with Mason Glidewell. Um, Mason, can you tell us how your first week of school went for you? Um, pretty bad. I failed a pre-cal test. All right. Um, um, after your first week of school, what is your favorite class? Um, probably SMAT or Ms. Hepner's uh, speech class. Fine. Uh, I know that you're on the basketball team, so can you tell us when and where y'all's uh, first game is? Um, it's November 3rd at home against Canada. All right, thank you. I'm Connor Smith, back to the studio. Hi, I'm Kate Hawkins with Road TV. I'm here with... Joshua Adams. Uh, tell us how your first week of school was. Uh, awful. I want to go home. Same. Um, what's your favorite class so far and why? Uh, varsity Theater. It's uh, fun and there's a lot of cool people. When and where is your next show? December 1st and 2nd in the Fine Arts Center. We're doing Little Mermaid. Thanks for your time and now back to the studio. Thanks guys. Now we're on to New Teacher Spotlight. Hey, I'm Kate Loder. I'm here with Coach Robinson. 
And uh, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, my name is Coach Robinson. Uh, this is my first year at Kaufman High School. Uh, my wife, Mrs. Coach Rob, is down in the English language lab. Uh, we have one son. Uh, his name is Kellen, and he's two years old. And I'm the head girl soccer coach. All right, thank you. And what subject do you teach here? Environmental science. All right, and how do you like Kaufman so far based on your experiences you've had this year? Kaufman has uh, been a very good place for us, and it's been very positive, and we enjoy being here. All right, thank you, sir. Thanks, Caden. That was a great interview. Now let's go to RTV Movies with Ben and Jacob talking about Slenderman. Once you see him, you can't unsee him. Hey, welcome back to Roar TV Reviews. I'm Jay Connor, And I'm Ben Pesley. And today we're going to review the hit movie of the summer, Slenderman. Yeah, no. I'm not even going to lie about this one. I can't joke about this. It's just a waste of time and money. <laughs> that was a good, like, what, hour 30 minutes? Hour? Maybe longer than that. Maybe a little bit longer. Two than hours, that. maybe. Uh, that was a good waste of time. I mean, we had fun watching it, like, making fun, making of, fun it, of it, mostly. Talking, yeah. a lot, talking about baked beans. Like, <laughs> we, we just, it was a fun experience, not a fun movie. <laughs> uh, so, it follows the story of uh, four, four people yeah. who summon Slender Man by essentially uh, falling for clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, it literally is like a clip, like, hey, you want to summon Slender Man? Click this. And the clip plays, and it summons Slender Man. <laughs> <laughs> and so they're terrorized, and they start disappearing one by one, or like going crazy and all that. And my voice cracks. And uh, <laughs> the movie sucks. The acting is worse. The acting really is what like throws it off for the most part. Because it's, it's funny. Like the acting's funny. Like how bad they are <laughs> to watch to watch like them in their. Uh, There's, there's Bad one, acting skills. There's one character, I think she's the first girl that goes missing. Redhead? Yeah, I think. Who talks like it's 2009. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, she says, like, the edgiest stuff. And the script is terrible, too. Yeah, the... I think, I, I think the actors could have done better if the script was better. I think that's the case in a lot of movies nowadays, because... Yeah, the script's you see, bad. You the see, like, like a, lot, a, lot, a lot of actors that play other roles in different movies that do well in those roles because they have a good script. Yeah. But in this movie, the script was so bad. Like uh, Christian Stewart. Stewart. Yeah, yeah. Christian Stewart's a great actress. It's just the Twilight movies were poorly written. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, all in all, you know, score, mediocre. I, I didn't even hear it most of the time. Yeah. Sound design wasn't that bad. Like uh, the the sound effects for Slender Man. Every time like Slender would appear or whenever he'd move, it kind of make a sound like a like a tree falling down or yeah, like a branch cracking cool. off. I think I thought that was a cool idea, and like uh, the whole forest motif with Slender Man, like oh he's gonna drag you to the forest and like do something. I don't know. <laughs> that was that was cute. <laughs> like again, like this is another one of those movies where they had ideas that if executed correctly could have led to a good movie but they very much were bad at doing that <laughs> i mean i think i think they did a good job with the uh, costume design for slender man though yeah yeah uh so, like the slender man costume i did, i couldn't well i guess that's a caveat too like that's a plus i couldn't really tell whether it was cg or not so that it was either good cg or just yeah i shouldn't I, I, I shouldn't say costume design but i mean uh so good I, I could cgi I, I think i think it was no, it, it 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 had to be CGI because the way the way he had moved and stuff. Yeah, true, and like his proportions. Yeah, but like his suit, like kind of looked like he was made out of skin, which you know that's obviously unnerving. Yeah, and uh, really, I can't even give them credit for the concepts being good because they didn't make the concepts. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like if the concepts was some other dude in like two thousand seven, but uh, all in all, bad movie not worth money but it was fun to watch so if you're able to find it somewhere and not have to pay to watch it then it's fun to watch like netflix or hulu then it's it's a fun experience like watch it with your friends make fun of the movie it's, it's super fun but uh I all think, in all sorry i, sorry, I mean no, uh, no, you go, go i think i th i think the, like the overall idea of Slender Man and like what what they're trying to portray is, is kind of spooky because it, it is supposed supposed to be a scary movie yeah but I mean it was it was just spooky it didn't it didn't actually scare me at any point yeah like, you know 
like yeah, like Slender Man's not like a terrifying thing, but it's like oh, it, it, like that's that is un that's unnerving. unnerving. Yeah. Like I see that and I'm like oh, that's a little for for a scary movie to actually scare me. I'm I have to like have a bad dream about it the next night, you know? Yeah. I will say another thing that completely surprised me is there wasn't too heavy of a reliance on jump scares. Yeah. Like, there were jump scares, but it wasn't like, you know, most bad horror movies are 100% jump scares and right. like 20 actual real scares. And then, but this movie, like, a lot of the scares were they intended for it to be, like, terror scared, where you know what's coming, and, yeah. but, and there's no jump to it. It's just, it happens, and that's scary. They intended it to be like that, but it never... It didn't come off that way. Yeah, it was never scary. Most even, like, the jump scares... Like, jump scares are supposed to scare you. Yeah, it's, but it's not But the jump fair. scares didn't even, like, it's like, scare me at all. I was, <laughs> I was just, like, sitting there, you know, blankly, like, blank expression on my face the whole time. It's like cheating. Just, like, just cheating. But, uh, all in all, like... Bad movie, very bad movie. Yeah. This... Uh, so I give it like a big, big old three out of ten. I'll probably give it a four, just because I liked the costume design and the overall idea. But they didn't, the they, concept, they didn't come, yeah. they didn't, yeah, didn't come through. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna give them that though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we don't know we're gonna what we're gonna review next, so we won't try and tie ourselves down by saying it. Yeah. But uh, we're gonna be back. We're gonna review something. And uh, I hope you guys watch it. Stay Anyways, tuned. have a nice day. See you later. This week was really good, and I'm Reese. And I'm Caden. Hope to see you all next week.